Happy Freaky Fridays, my friends. So today is a controversial view. Ooh, set it, set it up. Let's hope I can swing it out of the park and knock it down for you. Right, set it up nicely. So what do you the hell do you mean, Dino? Right, I don't think you want to be single store dependent. Excuse me. Every single time I don't put this across. Um, what do I mean by that? I think you are more vulnerable with one site than you are with five sites. I think you're more vulnerable with five sites than you are with 10 sites. The more sites you have, the more that you can navigate the stormy waters of business. Right. Why do I say this? I put here, I've got to read a lot of notes. Here. I've got so many notes. But, and by the way, all the cool kids have signed up to MrSellStories.com. If you haven't signed up, what are you cool? What is going on? Of course, you should be signing up. It, honestly, I, I love doing it. It's one of my favorite things I do. Um, we've been nearly going a year now, and it is wonderful. It's one, I love it. I love it anyway. I get some really good feedback, and uh, I share all my figures with all my five sites, soon to be six. And then I do a sub stories tip like this, a business tip every single day, because as you know, I spend uh, last year, I spent nearly six figures on, on self development and business mentorship and all of that groovy stuff. I'm about to spend some more as well with two individuals, one in the self-storage space and one that's not in the self-storage space, but um, he is the world's best. And God knows how much it's going to cost me to play work one on one with him. So I give you all that stuff over there, um, mrselfstories.com. Right, okay. So if if you are single store dependent, then you can't you can't do these things. If you are single store, if you aren't single store, store dependent, by the way, so... This is good, Dean. This is brilliant. <laughs> the more sites you have, you can afford these things. You can afford a better team, a better paid ads company to do your paid ads, a better accountant, better SEO consultants. And by the way, better accountant. My accountants just made, found out a mistake we made in August, and I got a refund, a VAT refund coming in this month. Just got it last Friday. Uh, of 25 grand, 25 grand, because we overlooked an asset purchase um, that wasn't put through. And so now I've got 25,000 pound refund. And yeah, don't get me wrong, this new accountant is a lot more expensive, but straight away, I've already, yeah. It, and you don't know what you don't know. Everybody thinks they've got a really good accountant. Who knows? Right, so a better accountant, better SEO. Uh, you can spend more on mentors and consultants. You can pay for the less, best legal advice and business advice. Etc. 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 Oh no 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 no! That's not all, folks. You get to save on expenses through economies of scale as well. A simple example would be my SEO consultant. He charges three thousand pound per month to work on Stormall.co.uk. I've wanted to work with him for bloody years, but I can never afford it. But if you've got one site, what does that cost per site? Three thousand pound, obviously per site. I've got five sites. So what does that mean? It means that it's £600 per site. Why? Economies of scale. Because each site is paying £600, £600, £600, £600, £600, £600 and it becomes to £3,000. And so each site can afford £600 a month to make sure our SEOs are on point. But if I only have one site, I don't get the economies of scale. I've got to pay £3,000 for that one site and I probably couldn't do it. And therefore, I would probably be lacking in my SEO results, my Google results. And therefore, I would have less, less, less rentals, less, you know, you name it. Right. With one site, you're reliant on the demand of one single location. If I had one site, then I'm relying, say, for example, if I didn't expand, I'm just relying on Beverly. Right. So what happens if somebody outpositions me? Straight away, it's more stress, more headaches, more like, oh, what happens? What happens if somebody opens a new facility? That happens all the time. Might not opposition you, but it's still open a new facility. More competition on Google. Your ad spend goes up. Straight away, they're, they're, they're eating away at your percentage profit. And that is not good. Um, you're all constantly worried. You're constantly worried that somebody is going to open up. I mean, uh, it's going to happen. It's all, I mean, Beverly, two people have opened up in the last year and a half. It's, it's crazy the amount of people open up. Um, but, you know, and Cliff Road. We've had two more people are on Cliff Road who have opened up self storages. Again, so you're always going to get that because because I'm more insulated now. I've got more than one site, so yes, it bothers me when they open up, but I know that it's not going to deeply impact me 
as a company as a whole. But not only that, you've got to look at the population as well. Is the population increasing? Is it decreasing? Um, is there a big employer that's going to go, that's going to close down the factory or close down a job? Um, and so who knows? And if that happens, then you know that people are going to, are going to start to move away. That's what happens in America all the time. Population increases, decreases. And so we've got to be careful of that. We've got to be aware of that. And don't get me wrong, I don't think it's the biggest metric we should be, we should be looking at, but it's certainly at the back of your mind thinking, okay, are we, are we building new homes? Are we not? You know, so yeah, it's, it, I think it's really important. What other notes have I got? Um, with one site, there is also, also a, there is always a potential worry and threat that will impact your business. Don't get me wrong, you're still worried with multiple sites, but less, but there's less of an impact to your overall business, and it's unlikely to kill you as a business owner. With multiple sites, your success is less determined by one site, more the demand of the industry as a whole. I think that's so true. So if the industry is improving, increasing its demand and supply, if they're all going in the right direction, then guess what? You're, you're, you're more than likely going to be fine. Most people in a growing industry are okay. And so therefore, we're not just at the whim of one site, of one location. We're more at the whim of the industry as a whole. That's all. And don't get me wrong, with one site, you're also still at the whim of that as well. Expanding isn't right for everybody, but for me, I see it as the safest option, even though there are still considerable risks. Something for you to think about. When I say considerable risk, by the way, I mean like putting um, personal guarantees, a charge on your house, your wife saying she's going to kill you and move out and leave you if you lose a business. I mean, no, there's a risk. <laughs> it's a considerable risk. There's always risk, but... And it depends what sort of personality you are as well. But for me, I sleep easier and I feel more comfortable with five sites than I did one site. And it is, um, I don't know if it's a normal view. I don't know if it's a correct view for everybody. It's probably definitely shouldn't be, definitely won't be. But I know it is for me because I feel safer. I feel, I feel like a cocoon in a cocoon's nest. I feel protected um, because it's not just one site that I'm relying on. One site can have a bad month. For example, uh, Willoughby had a really, really bad month, bad month uh, in December. So did Clough Road. If I just had them two sites, I'd be like, oh, bloody hell, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God, world's coming to an end. Oh. But I, I had Mansfield, which had a really good December. I had Wrexham, which had a good December in terms of revenue, really good um, month in terms of revenue. I had Beverly, which was a brilliant December, especially with revenue. And so then three sites insulated me against the two poorly performing ones. But if I just had Willoughby or just had Clough Road or just had both of them, then guess what? I'd be in a world of pain. I mean, 2,000 square foot. I think, I think it was like 3,500 square foot between them both we lost in December. But that's a lot of square foot. But we was insulated against it because we had other ones. And as long as you're doing the things correctly, you're going you're gonna to have sites that perform. You're always going to have sites that perform. And every now and again, you're going to have these outliers, the, the outlying months where you have a bad month and you lose square footage, you lose revenue. But the more sites you have, then the more insulated. I, I feel I am anyway. Right. Have a wonderful weekend, my friends. I love you. I appreciate you. And I will be seeing you on Monday morning. See you soon. Bye-bye. Love you. Appreciate you. Bye.